Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and today's video will be a super special doll collaboration again. Today Hudson Amiko is turning 12 years old and my doll friends and me thought it would be a great opportunity to make a Vocaloid doll collaboration. We all made a different version of Miku and I decided to make the Chokabuki Miku. But also make sure to check out all the other dolls by Hexchen, Dollmill, Anastasia Custom, Color, Haley Crafts and the Doll Fairy as well. Everyone did such an amazing job. All right, let's get started on Miku. For my Miku doll, I'm going to use Draculaura as a base. First, as always, I'm removing her factory paint with acetone and cotton pads. I'm cutting her hair short and then put her into boiling water, wait a bit and gently remove her head to get rid of the rest of the hair inside her head. After that was done, I dyed some alpaca hair with teal semi-permanent hair dye. Then I made a wig cap and already glued some magnets on it for her pigtails and hair decorations. Then I'm starting to glue the alpaca hair onto her wig cap and cut and style it layer by layer before adding the next one. It looks really good already. For her pigtails, I'm rolling some wefts together and glue in some magnets. I finished them up by adding some red satin ribbon. Then 
The last thing I needed for her wig was the big traditional Japanese hairstyling piece. For that I cut out the shape from fun foam, layer it with some combed out alpaca hair and then glue on some wefts and wrap them around the piece. I secure them with some very strong hairspray. And done! Let's see if the pieces fit onto the wig. Looks pretty awesome! Now it's time for a face up. I'm starting to sketch out the corners of her mouth and add some blushing. Then I'm slowly sketching out the eyes and add some depth to the iris by using different shades of blue. For her eyebrows, I'm adding some blue pastel chalk dust first and then draw them with a tealish blue pencil. I'm finishing her face by adding highlights to her eyes with white acrylics and gloss her lips. Alright, hair and face are done, let's make her outfit. 
This was a huge challenge because I had to make vector graphics for all of the different prints on her kimono and it was a lot. It took me a whole weekend just to make the graphics. I then printed them onto fabric vinyl, cut it out and cut out all the gold elements from golden fabric vinyl using a circuit. I'm going to layer them when ironing the prints on the fabric. First I'm sewing the red kimono that she wears under the blue jacket. I already sewed together the back of the kimono and now add some flower decorations. After ironing them on, I'm adding the golden vinyl and iron it again. It looks so shiny and pretty. Then I'm sewing together the side seams of the kimono. I added some prints to the collar pieces, sewed them on together and just add the collar to the kimono. Looks really nice! The next thing I'm making is the big jacket. I first add some lining to the sleeves and sew the sleeves onto the bodice. After that, I'm ironing on the big phoenix and some other decorations and add the golden accents. I added some prints to the collar piece as well and sew it onto the kimono jacket. After that was done, I'm closing the side and sleeve seams of the jacket. Then I'm sewing the lower part of the jacket. I already ironed some prints onto the green fabric. I closed the seams, turn it inside out and stuff it with some leftover combed out alpaca hair. Now I just needed to close it with some hand stitches and then sew together all three rolls by hand. Then I'm sewing a rectangle and pull some wire through tunnels I sewed onto it and glue the rolls onto it. Now I just sew this onto the jacket and the jacket is done! Then 
The last thing missing for our outfit is the big ribbon. I already put on the prints for it and now sew together the back piece by adding some red fabric to baby pink fabric and then sewing that onto the front piece. I filled it with some leftover a pack of fiber as well. I also sewed a top piece for the ribbon and made a little middle piece. For the 3D decorations on the ribbon, I ironed on the butterflies and flowers onto thick fabric on that I ironed on some thick interfacing, cut them out with tiny scissors and added some fray check around the edges to prevent them from fraying. Then I glued some felt circles onto the back of them and glued them onto the ribbon. In the end I just attached the ribbon onto an obi that is closable with two tiny buttons. The next thing I made were her hair accessories. Because she wears so many of them, I decided to make them from polymer clay and then make a silicone mold. I poured in the silicone onto the little mold box that I made with some leftover plastic and hot glue and let it cure. After the silicone had hardened, I could pull out all the pieces from the mold. I mixed some UV resin with gold pigments and poured it into the mold. Then I put it under the UV lamp and let it cure for about a minute. They turned out really nice. After I made all of her hair accessories, I just glued them onto the wig. Last but not least, I had to make her shoes. My dad was so kind to cut out the shape of them from wood. Now I could paint them black and add a sole from polymer clay.
Then I wrapped some satin ribbon around the wire for the straps and pushed them into the soft clay. After baking and painting the sole a bit darker, it looks like this. Before I baked them, I decided to use a thinner wire and ribbon for the straps. Now I'm just touching up the black a bit and then glaze them with clear UV resin. And here, yeah, we're finally done! I'm so happy how she turned out. It was really a lot of work. I'm glad I could finish her in time for this collaboration. How do you like her and what do you like most? Please let me know in the comments below. And also please make sure to check out my friends' videos and dolls too! You can find links to their channels in the description box below. And yeah, there she is! I really like how she turned out and I'm so happy to be part of this collaboration. And also I want to thank all of my patrons, Akanet Seles, Andrea, Ashley, Brittany Busquet, Karina Fröhlich, Cassis Dreamland, Crystal1314, D2, Diana Rast, Diana the Doll Fairy, Dollo Aces, Dolls Brand New Look, Emily Erickson, Geo Sindo, Glass Jewel, Gypsy Area, Jacqueline, Jetta Grace, Kiwi of Doom, Cornelia Lucky S, Leila Soto, Luna and Stella Dolls, Midori Kiwi, Mira, Michela Wallace, Pride Cochet, Kieran Doll, Rachel Gatlin, Rin Sinomori, Rose Pendleton, Sally L, Sananas, Sharon Starnes, Sophie Lasher, Stubby and the Kids, Sugarlump Gift Shop, and Veronica Haynes. Your support makes all of this possible, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video, and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!